Welcome back to Mitch and Reacts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, today we're going to be looking at the 20 creepiest Google images on, yeah, Google Maps. Google, it's the same shit. Before we hop into the video, I want to give a quick little shout out to YG underscore Lease. Thank you so much, YG. <laughs> Thanks, YG, for watching my videos. Seriously, thank you so much, Lise, uh, for showing the support to this channel. Let's grow one day. Probably not going to happen. Number 20. Goat woman. What Someone the hell? Tell us, this is just a Google Earth error, and there's really not a goat She's woman walking around. She's a goat the woman, bro. Bro, the hell she from her ancestors with double jointed knees. We call her the fucking goat woman, it's dog. Damn. Number 19. All right. Horse head guy. Horse head guy. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with him, bro? Way to creep out anyone who might have crossed his path. Or Yo. Maybe he just didn't want his face on Google Earth and decided to put a mask on. I don't know. I think we should just put him in jail. Car driving by. That's just weird. Number 18. Miyoshi Japan. If you search Miyoshi Japan, you might not notice anything too different at first. Once you look a little closer, you'll see some people sitting on benches or outside their house. After further examination, you'll notice the faces aren't blurred as usual. Well, it turns out it's a village of dead dolls, and all the people sitting down are dolls. Eerie, but true. Okay, yeah. That that place, that place needs to go. I don't know who the who lives there. I don't know what the hell is going through their head, but it needs to go. It needs to go. I bet you, I bet you no one lives there. I bet you all these dolls are haunted. They're probably fucking walking around. They're probably doing laundry, dude. Who knows? I don't like that. True. Number 17. Where did the carnival go? In Kipoletti, Argentina, on Rio Negro, you'll find a creepy abandoned circus, making you wonder, where did all the clowns Ooh, go? Ooh, that would be sick. And are now roaming the streets? That would be Please, sick. Looks like it would have been fun at some point in time, but now it mm -hmm. looks just downright evil. Buy a ticket if you dare. Buy a ticket Number if you dare. Dude, I'm gonna throw the biggest badass party there. <laughs> Green alien cloud. In Somerville, Massachusetts, on Broadway Street, you'll notice a gloomy, apocalyptic death cloud striking complete panic into the poor residents of this town. This cloud looks highly capable of bringing on destruction with ease. Or could it just be a leaf stuck on the camera? Or, maybe another theory, what if God farted? You ever think about that? It isn't coming off. I'm just Either saying. Way, it still seems creepy. Number 15, Ghost Church. It's just your average sunny day here in Baltimore, Maryland. The church here, located on North Fremont Street, appears as though it may be getting a little bit run down, and that it might be demolished at any minute. Zoom in a little closer and poof, it's gone. How did that happen? What the fuck? Did the Lord make it vanish suddenly? Now it's a vacant lot that'll be put to better use someday. What the hell? If you zoom in, it's just missing? Holy! Holy! I feel like if I went to that church, my answers would get answered. <laughs> what? Number 14, Gypsy Kids. Are you scared of kids and gypsies? God, I'm scared to have kids. Yeah, I don't want them. The boy coming to this place in Slovakia, then. This creepy, rundown Soviet style. <laughs> and the unsupervised what is it kids doing? running around the streets of Kolshika. Google better hope those aren't black eyed children. I think Google they are. There's a problem on their hands. The adults who are caught on camera seem to have a serious issue with some fancy car driving down their street. And it looks like one of them didn't get out of the way. <laughs> What the hell? What if it just morphed to the fucking sky, dude? 13. Dumped bodies. The Google car really needs to be careful when driving down some rough neighborhoods, especially this one in Chile. If he doesn't watch out, it could be oh. the driver that ends up in the dumpster. Oh, Somewhere what? In Chile lies a dumpster full of creepy mannequins. Or maybe they're really dead bodies, cleverly disguised as mannequins. Uh, what do you believe? Uh, I believe Number they're 12, dead in a murder saw victim. That. With all the exploring that's needed on Google Earth, is it possible they could capture a live murder on camera? Oh, Possibly what? Yet. But this time, it seems to be a prank. When people got word of the Google streetcar coming through their neighborhood, they're eager to try to get their own 15 minutes of fame. These pranksters faked a murder in Edinburgh, Scotland. Hopefully, Scotland Yard doesn't investigate this one too closely, because it's a joke, uh, apparently. Number Turns out it's not yep. a joke, bro. What if their IQ is so high they're like, listen, the Google map car is coming. I'm going to take this guy out. But then if they question me, I'm going to be like, hey, it was all a joke because the Google car was coming. And they won't even bat an eye. I don't know. There's just a lot going on in that. Yoga by the beach. 
nothing is more relaxing and enlightening than doing some healthy yoga poses by the beach. This woman in Wilt Stable, England, <laughs> is trying to connect her body and mind on the beautiful coastline. Damn. And it certainly isn't something you see every day on Google Maps. Hell no. That's what I like to Number see. Number 10. Pro <laughs> Army. This one here is frightening for anyone who decides to do a little exploring on Google Maps in Finland. What appears to look like a bunch of random people standing in the middle of an empty <laughs> field is actually a group of creepy scarecrows that look like they're about to come to life at any moment. Okay, if those are just scarecrows, I can't be the only one who just wants to drive like a big ass truck through. Like just whoops. Turns out one of them's not a scarecrow. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, like, the finish right? possibly need this many scarecrows. Maybe they're used to scare off zombies? Who knows? Number nine, biohazard suits. These two guys here definitely know something about the zombie apocalypse that we don't. Dressed up in those creepy biohazard jumpsuits, these guys in Sweden must have really spooked out the Google streetcar as he drove by this golf course. This guy with the golf club looks like he's trying to protect himself from becoming a zombie. The guy with the golf club Number looks like he's just lost his mind to be honest. Eight, watch out! This large bird is heading straight for Ooh, the driver. That's sick, he possibly bro. has plans for snatching him for a quick meal. That's sick. Located on the Isla de la Seymour Norte of the Galapagos Islands. Oh, how do you snap this give photo. that guy an award for saying that? Holy! With some of the diverse wildlife on these remarkable islands. Number seven, the Boneyard. The Davis Montan Air Force Base, located in Tucson, Arizona, is also known as the Boneyard and collects the remains of thousands of airplanes. It also seems like a cemetery for almost every airplane and helicopter ever used since World War II, and is a very interesting place to explore on Google Maps. Who knows what our government will decide to do with all these planes? Number Dude, six. that's actually insane, bro. How about you sell me one for a grand total of twenty-five dollars? <clears throat> then I can, can leave Canada and get away from the snow and not have to pay thousand dollars for plane tickets. How about that? That's what I mean, dude. The wrong people are are in power. I need to be in power. You know what happened if I was in power? No one would be poor anymore. Nobody would be rich. Everybody would be equal because everyone would be rich. Yeah. And do you know what else? We'd have robots working everywhere, bringing in crazy amounts of money to give equally to everyone in the world, and everyone could live luxuriously. Yeah, my country would probably tank, and we'd probably hit rock bottom within a week, but I mean, that'd be one hell of a week. The biggest word ever. When you have enough money to dig your own name out of the ground and have it be visible from space, you know you finally made it big. What the man, hell? Adon Al Nayan is in fact a billionaire and part of Abu Dhabi's ruling family. He had his name carved into a sandy surface on the Futaishi Island, which he owns, located in the Persian Gulf. He Not owns a an island? But also a tag creepy. Number five, pigeon people. Have pigeons finally been joined? <laughs> what the hell? Like humans? Throw some bird seed and run. What you the hell? Better for breadcrumbs and not human brains. Bro, I see that shit on Halloween. So, uh, like, someone's getting ran you over. Oh, okay, that's not, like, it's a joke, but I don't know. It could so not watch be. out. The Google streetcar driver didn't expect this job to be so traumatizing. Number four, zombie balcony. Look for this zombie oh, on the balcony shit. right there. This image doesn't Now we're right. talking. Just a zombie peering out into the street. Now we're talking. Friends. You better hope she doesn't know how to ride that bicycle. What that the hell is that is the thing? Last thing we need. Looks like my girlfriend. <laughs> when she gets out of the shower, bro. What the hell am I looking at? Number three, zombie child. In case you weren't a believer that the zombie apocalypse isn't here or not coming soon, take a look on Google Maps for more zombie children like in this photo. This is the last thing the streetcar driver wants to see. No one had mentioned anything about zombies in the job interview, and a brainless driver wouldn't be too useful for the company. Number 2. National Nevada Security Site. Ever wonder what a nuclear wasteland looks like? Or how the land will look really. like after it's been bombarded by... If I hear nukes, I try to stay away from that shit. I don't want to be looking that shit take a look up, dude. At some of the strange things going on here. It's somewhat similar to the surface of the moon. The site was created in 1951 and is still in use. Some towns were built in order to be absolutely obliterated. Located northeast of the proving grounds is the infamous Area 51. You may not see the aliens on Google Earth on Groom Lake, but you can imagine what goes on below the ground. Number I one, actually want to know that. Kazakhstan pentagram. In northern Kazakhstan, near the Russian border, you'll find this mysterious pentagram in an isolated region by a lake. 
Oh, hell no. hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Air, fire, and water. Oh, shit. It's upside down, like we see in the film. Uh-uh. It means something much more sinister. Uh-uh. It's often used by pagans and Wiccans. Never. It's dark spirits like the one. Never. Anyway, guys, that was um, Google Images that were scary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. I post daily videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Peace out.